Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a classroom tour. Um, it's not going to be very long, but I'm literally just showing you guys everything and the flow of my class. Just giving you guys an overview of what my classroom looks like and how everything came along. I know I did two classroom setup videos where I showed you guys kind of my thought process and the building of this, but I just want to give you an overview of how, it, how it's looking, how it's going to be for the school year. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching my last videos on my classroom setups. I hope you guys enjoyed them. And if you guys have any th ideas or feedback, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I do appreciate all the sweet comments. Everyone that liked my videos, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when you walk into my classroom, on my door, I have the sign that says in our classrooms. You guys probably saw that. I could probably spray these um, so that they're not so glary or glossy, but that's what that looks like. I'm going to go around this way. So here's my room, but I'm going to show you guys it in that order. So my first bulletin board that you see is my data wall. I'm going to be having my um, posters up here for each test, kind of just comparing um, each of my class's data. So I'll have three seventh grade posters and two um, eighth grade posters go up. I do already have the posters. Um, they just need to be done. So once we come closer to testing, I will make those posters so we can just as a class uh, create bar charts based on how well my students are performing. Here is just a cute little scenery. Over here is champs. In my school district, we follow the champs expectations, kind of just letting students know um, what voice level they should be at, how to ask for help, what activity we're doing, the movement, and how they can be participating. And so this is the wall I will read like pretty much all the time, like whenever we're working whole class, um, independent, partner, group, or taking a quiz. I just go over the champs expectations and knowing that all, stu all students should be following those expectations. Here I have a little calming corner if anyone needs a break or if we're doing flexible seating and they can relocate, then this is an option for them. Um, over here I just have a little lamp that I will have on. I have some like little, I'm gonna fill this up later, but I have two balls and a little fidget, a little notepad if anyone just needs to write a note, some hand sanitizer, timers, sticky notes, and pens. Um, going over to the left, I have my voice levels and my classroom rules. Um, so this is just correlates to the voice level on here. So our conversation levels are up here, just gives them more detail because up here it doesn't say what it looks like. So zero means silent, whisper, normal, speaking, and outside. Here are my classroom rules, nice and big in the front where everyone can see them and you guys can read those. On my board here I do have my levels of understanding. I will be using this throughout lessons just to get a gauge of where students feel like they are. I will go over this a lot in the beginning so students know how to use it. So basically they'll just show me on either writing it on, on, on their paper or with their fingers just letting me know if they feel like a level zero one two three four five here i have my learning targets is where i'm going to section it off to have my two different learning targets for both grades up here are mathematical practices just the skills that we should be practicing as mathematicians moving down i have my 3d shapes my 2d shapes on this rolling cart um, maybe like in a couple months as we get into the school year i can show you everything that i do have and use on this cart because it will be more functional right now it just has the basics a ruler stamps calculator and markers i'm still working on putting these labels but here i have all of my school my supplies for students that we will i will allow them to check out basically they in order for them to um, borrow material from me they just need to leave their ID card with me and so here I have pens highlighters markers crayons glue expo markers I made one for rulers um, pencils and scissors here's just a little check my place value and I still need to set up my calendar but here's my calendar that's all on my whiteboard so that's the front of the room over here there's nothing up here but I'm planning to use this just for other math resources posters things that students create things like that um, this is where we will also have more of math resources, so posters that I create or things that are helpful for them for the lessons that we're learning. And you guys seen this, this is my wild well work. Um, basically each, maybe each quarter or each um, unit, I will put up work that students have 
done. Um, and I will just randomly kind of exchange it throughout the school year. So I'll have my 7th grade work here, 8th grade work here. Um, by my phone, I did this last year and I really liked it because I always got compliments from the office manager or people in the office saying, wow, your students sound very mature when they answer the phone. And this is why. <laughs> I have this little sign just to help students when they answer because I remember growing up, if I ever answered my teacher's phone, I would be like, what do I say? A lot of kids are like that. So it just says, hello, room F8, your name speaking. So hello, room A, Mrs. Garcia speaking. All right. And then back here I have my microwave, my fridge, my Keurig. Um, that's a safe that already just was in here. Um, I still do need to put up these LED lights. I'm going to be hanging them up here this week. I have these, this mailbox back here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I did just get a bunch of curriculum that I can probably store over here. So I'll figure that out this week. Remember, today's Monday, and this week I will be on campus back to school camp, like meetings and stuff like that. So... I have time to get stuff. Here's my desk space. I brought my desk and my filing cabinet from home because it wasn't being used. Um, and I have this carpet. This is going to be an area for flexible seating for students to just hang out. Um, when you come over here, this is just two filing cabinets. I have my teacher toolbox. Um, just a couple things. I have my lava lamp, pictures, my mirror my chair that I might buy a new one we'll see and then my books so this will be each of my grade books and folders for all my material this is where I will leave copies and um, lessons for the week and that's pretty much it let me go ahead and show you this last section which is my student center so here is the student center this is when you come into the door so when students enter my classroom they will always see or look here for any papers or handouts that they need us collect but just to start from top to bottom just a sign that I created on my Cricut. Two things that I, or these things I just found at Michael, or actually Hobby Lobby. This is a whiteboard, it's to spread the love. I would love for students randomly throughout the year or quarter or whatever to grab a marker and just leave a positive encouraging note for their classmates or for someone specific. Um, I think that's gonna be a great way to kind of create a culture in our classroom to just kind of support one another, even if it's from the same class or different classes or even a message to their teacher. Here's their affirmation station where basically just positive of words of encouragement and affirmations for students to um, have. Here's their turn-in bin, seventh grade turn-in, eighth grade turn-in, and their absent folders. And then here is some paper for the class. That is the end of this tour. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.